Hey guys, I am Jared Spector. I guess you know that or you wouldn't have clicked on this link. I'm playing Sonny Bono in The Share Show. And I'm backstage here at the Neil Simon Theater in my dressing room. And, okay, so a couple things. Uh, I really like puns, so hence, it's always sunny. Now, there were lots of title ideas for this show, and I wanted to share some of them with you as we start out here so you can see, you know, if you like what we ended up with. Okay, so there was like the, you know, sort of the standard, the sunny show, I got you, babe, and the beat goes on, you know, kind of your, your basic, oh, it's a lyric from the song, I got it, yada, yada. But I like puns. So we also had sunny days. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, throw me a bono, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, sunny with a chance of sharers. See what I did there? It's terrible. I know. I'm sorry. But anyway, we had some fun ideas. If you have an idea that you like even more, I'm not going to change the title of the show, but if you send me them, I will definitely read them. I will read my favorites. So, it is right now our the very beginning of our last week of previews, and I can't wait to show you <laughs> what all of this is like. So, uh, here we go. Okay, hey guys. Uh, we are here at we. I am here, and you're here with me at Power Station Studios on 53rd Street, because we are recording uh, a little uh, commercial spot. See, a TCS 30-second commercial spot, and also a 60-second spot. Now, you might be wondering why I have music for uh, music from a show that I'd sing every night. Well, you know, as it always happens, uh, as soon as you do commercial stuff, they change things. You know, little notes here and there, just to drive you crazy. So, um, I'm learning this now. It's not that much different. And then uh, Teal, uh, our, 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 our number two share, that sounds wrong. Our middle share, no, also sounds wrong. How do, how do we describe? Teal is lady, so she is the, um, she is the, you know, the, the Sunny Share Comedy Hour era share, is in the studio right now. And when she's done, I will go in and hopefully they'll let me take the camera in. Actually, I'm just gonna take the camera in, just don't tell anybody. Well, I don't know. If all that's true, cause you got me, and baby, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. They're basically recording my voice the whole time, so <laughs> I had to be really quick and in and out of there. It is our first day of the last week of previews, which means Traditionally speaking, this is the last day that we can make changes to the script of the show. Or we, meaning um, they, the creative team, and we, the actors, just learn the pages that are left on our station every day. So every day during previews, we come in, and then there's a stack of pages. Sometimes the stack is longer than others. Sometimes they have more of these little asterisks on them than others. Those little asterisks mean that line was changed or added or whatever, and sometimes it's a whole song that's been changed or added or whatever. So anyway, every day during previews you come in, 12.30, you get the stack of pages, and then you go downstairs and you learn the lines and you rehearse them until 5.30, then you have a little break where you can eat, sleep, and recharge before showtime that night. And that usually is like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you have a couple of shows on Saturday, maybe sometimes two shows on Sunday. It's, it's a lot. And you take these pages and you put them into your script. And uh, that's pretty much every day for four weeks. And that's after the four weeks traditionally of 10 to 6 rehearsals. And then the week and a half or two weeks of tech, which is um, like the first week of tech is usually eight and a half hours a day. And then the second week of tech is often um, 12 hours a day, like 11 10 and a half, 11, 12 hours a day, something like that. So putting up a show is long and tricky and can be quite the uh, tax on the brain. But anyway, I'm going to learn my few, and then I'm going to put on my uh, little mic pack and go down to the stage with everybody, and I'll be back. And maybe we'll ask some people how they're handling Tech Week. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could do that at normal. I know I could. It's not your fault. They're in the how quick change you know? booth learning lines. <laughs> <laughs> we have new pages today. Hi, son. Aww. See how many asterisks are on this page. There's a oh, bunch of asterisks. Lots of oh, asterisks. Oh, that is all new stuff. Look, but this is going to be the last, the last, the last date. One. The last date. 1127. Hey, look, she already, she, she done highlight. Oh, I done highlight. She did <laughs> highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't circled my operatives. What's funny is that this page was new 
Well, we walked in the building today, and, and then we got an updated one. one. So, <laughs> see, see, look, 11, 27, 18, 4 p.m. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a very glamorous process. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will leave you to learn your lines. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye. shares. Bye. That's where we're at. Wait, I'll literally show you where we are. Cause <laughs> that's where they are, and we are backstage. That's where we are. There's this. There's this stage, so you know where we're at. And uh, they're learning lines. Do I look different? So, um, show is over tonight, but tonight we're doing B-roll, which means um, like commercial footage and f photos and things. So, um, we're in the house and like, the stage <laughs> is all lit up and uh, there's all these people and we got cameras and things happening. I can't really see what I'm doing there while I'm doing that. So um, we're going to check in with some of the cast and see how they're feeling now that the show is over and supposedly locked. But you know, you never know because um, Cher was here tonight, so you never know. Things could change tomorrow. Um, Michael's got a look on his. What's happening over there? Caress? <laughs> what? You, you, you were caught in a, in a look on the. I'm a blonde deer caught in the headlights. Michael Barres, everyone, who hey. plays Bob. Mackie. You might not recognize me because I'm blind. I know, but look at this outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a lot you of look good in green and white, you know? Uh, so the show's frozen. Just talking to uh, all the people at Broadway.com about what that's like. The show is frozen. Is we were like through tech. Well, it was supposed to be frozen. We're like done. We're in our, you know, we're in, it's time for. Um, um, if it's true. Those who must not be named I to just, come and see the show. I want and, to believe it's true. I think it's. Uh, I think the work was like amazing until the last possible second. And now we're ready to just do our part. That's right. Yeah. And give it to the people. Give it to the people. Yeah. Give the people what they want. All right. Thank you for that. Wait, let me see yeah, if I can, can turn this way. We can do a double. Yeah. We started the show at the same time. We did. Yeah, um, that workshop, it was January, January of 2017. Yeah. When she came and saw the show. Uh -huh. It was at yeah, the Yeah, it was at like, uh, what is it, the Duke on 42nd mm -hmm. Street. And she sat like up at the top and I read stage directions. In full trying, big full glasses, glasses and wig. And I kept trying to like catch a glimpse to see her reactions every once in a while. Yeah. And she was, yeah, couldn't yeah, see anything. Couldn't, 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 no, she was right underneath the spotlight. Uh, they unscrewed the light bulb above, above her. her. Right, it was so like the godfather. She, she was out of the special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't, the girls are on the stage, but I, I, mean, I, I can't can shoot them. I don't think we can. I think they I can show the stage. Amazing. They do look amazing. I'll find them, I yeah, promise you. I'll find them. You've never seen more sparkles. Yeah, it's yeah, really it's sparkly. But you're going to have to see the show to see the sparkles. You really I mean, do. I've got some sparkles. Yeah, you've got some good ones. Don't get me wrong. But to see the girls in their sparkles, you have to come. But I'll find them backstage, I swear. Emily Skinner, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Emily, now that we're frozen, do you, first of all, do you Are think we're frozen? frozen? I'm asking everyone if they Are actually we? think that we're frozen. <laughs> Welcome to um, It's Always Sunny, by the way. And, uh, do you think we're frozen? I don't know if we're frozen. I don't know. Cher, Cher's been around a lot and, and giving thoughts and giving adjustments and whatever, so we don't know. Right, we really don't know. Company, you know. please, on oh, stage. Wait, we're being beckoned, full company Bye. on stage. Bye. So I admit I kind of left you hanging there at the end of that photo shoot when I was going to show you the girls, but they were posing on stage with Cher and uh, we're all a little proprietary about how much we can show of Cher, uh, uh, though there are some really killer pictures on Broadway.com and all over the internet of the girls and their costumes with Cher. Uh, and here's what happened. I got sick. So I figured this is a good opportunity actually here on a two-show Saturday to uh, answer two common questions, which are like, what is the hardest thing about an eight-show week, and what do you do when someone gets sick? That is the answer to the first question. I think that, bar none, the worst thing about doing an eight-show week is performing when you're sick. Uh, but everyone in this building is super conscientious, so we want to work our asses off and give 100%. Okay, here are the basics when you're sick. First of all, some of you might be watching this and you might be in a local show, um, uh, usually, I mean, high schools op often operate like this, uh, and, and community playhouses, you know, where you'll, like, rehearse for four weeks or five, six weeks, however many, and then you only have a weekend of performances, and there are no understudies, so you have to figure out a way to get through it, right? I mean, the same thing happens with encores here at City Center, right? They rehearse for a week and a half, two weeks, and then they only have basically a long weekend versus uh, uh, a worth of shows, and you have to figure out a way to get through it. So here are some basics. You can get all of these things if you're in New York at Westerly Market. If not, you can order them on Amazon or find your local health food store. But like, 
first and foremost, wellness formula. You gotta take three of these monster pills every three hours up to five times a day, basically from as soon as you start not feeling well until, well, several days after you feel better. It's time for my three. So um, I'm gonna drink, oh, the little unicorn did bring me, um, uh, uh, this is another good thing to have, it's like a hot apple ginger lemon concoction from Juice Generation, you can make it yourself at home. Um, also, throat coat or throat comfort, critical. It's they're basically all the same thing. They're made from like slippery elm and licorice root, and they're great. They're good for your cords. Um, people don't always like to sing on ibuprofen. I, I know that if you take three or four of them, if you take six or eight hundred milligrams, it thins your blood and you can hemorrhage. And so, don't do anything like that. But I find that I can sing on two, and sometimes it takes down some of the feeling of being sick. Emergency very important. You can take this like three times a day. It gives you some energy boost and vitamin C. A lot of them have vitamin B. Uh, B12 is critical. Um, Grether's Pastilles. This is a great little um, trick. Uh, every, everyone on Broadway basically knows about these. Um, there's just like these little pastilles and they're made from glycerin and fruit juice. You can get the sugar-free kind if you don't want, to, want the calories or whatever. And uh, have one of those, you know, 10-15 minutes before you go on and you'll feel uh, quite a bit better in the throat. It's not, you know, a, a magic elixir, but it definitely helps. So let me see if I can not choke on these. Well, I... There we go. Also, don't underestimate uh, the power of laughter and positivity. And uh, we have something here at the Neil Simon with the August Wilson called Saturday Night Scream. Hold on one second, let me show you. Because we are right across the street from Mean Girls. And in just a few moments, at half hour, so it's 7.30, Someone from that theater, or some ones, may very well come out and give us a little opening night gift of song or skit. So we'll see. All right, it's about to start. I said, share. We know your opening night is right around the corner. It will be a good night. I said, share. You better look real good and have the after party drink more than you should. I said, share. We have some more space. started. Uh, Michaela and Teal and Stephanie are already out there doing their thing. I got my shirt on, I got my hair on, I'm all warmed up, I'm drinking my stuff, I'm taking my pastilles, I'm doing everything that you're supposed to do and hopefully all of these little tricks are enough. I know you were worried, so I just want to report that I made it through the show. That's seven down, well I still have to bow, that's seven down, one to go, and then opening night and I promise I'll show all kinds of fun stuff at opening. But yeah, I made it through it. I'm pretty sure it was the power of the mustache. It is the end of the Sunday show. That is the finale you hear in the background. And uh, here on the third floor, I'll see if any of the boys are available to, uh, to uh, for this uh, end of week send off. Tomorrow we open, so the energy around here is very high. And uh, well, let's see. Campano, you ready? What are you doing? Say hi to Broadway.com. <laughs> Just no warning at all. <laughs> well, I don't need a warning. Look at that. Why would you need warning? Look at this. Oh, my chest. Well, Isaac. Oh yeah. Look at it. Hold on. 2001. 2002. You dummy. <laughs> okay. And are you ready now? Look how pretty. That really, it's the wig, it's the whole, the whole character. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear what she said? You bitches want some more. We're almost at Bob Mack, are you in there? 
All right, we'll get him. We'll get him maybe some other time. All right. Uh, yeah, we got to leave you with something for next week. Why don't you just see to Michael Barres, who's playing Bob Mackey, and a million other things. There's so much to show you. Uh, but tomorrow, we'll have all kinds of fun opening. What's weird is, you're going to see this. By the time you see this, we will have opened. Um, so, fingers crossed. All right, see you next week.